there lived a man who constantly suffered. He always felt like he was too hot or too cold, like he had too much of this and not enough of that. One day he'd feel like jumping for joy, and the next like weeping in the corner. Over time, these feelings made his heart grow callous. His body crumbled, and the thoughts that swirled inside of his head thickened. And finally, when he stopped changing at all, death came and took him away. Well, did you like living? Death asked. Well, I didn't, I didn't. Life has sun and love and pleasures, but it also has coldness, disappointment, and pain. But above all, I never found any meaning in it. Death chuckled. <laughs> when you went to the land of the living, there was a meaning, but you lost it there. Okay, I'll give you a little advice on how to fix the whole thing. Just have a talk with the three teachers. They'll help you remember everything. After he said these words, death turned into a moth, and the darkness fell. The darkness was silent and dense as a rock. <laughs> I'm so scared and so cold. I'll never find anybody <gasps> in this sticky darkness. <sighs> I've been waiting for you. That was his first teacher, the Black God. He made his home down below and was darkness itself. He said the human soul continuously emits both happiness and suffering, which means the human is the ultimate cause of everything. But it's only when a human soul keeps these opposites in balance that his empire is ruled by freedom. Freedom! 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 I've been waiting for you. And this was the second teacher, the White God, who dwelt up on high and shone as bright as light itself. He taught the human that eternity is the present moment, and the future as well as the past are really nothing more than different forms of human memory. But only then, when a human being doesn't live in the past or run away into the future, only then is his empire ruled by freedom. Why aren't you looking for the third teacher? I've been waiting for you. I want to tell you about the black and white gods. They were talking about the same thing, but in reality, they weren't. So what were they talking about? They were talking about me. <laughs> I'm the one who decides between black and white. It is I who chooses between good and evil, between action and inaction. I and the world comprise the whole, and both of us fill one another. When I bring beauty into the world, the world becomes wonderful. And when I bring destruction, it becomes merciless. That is the meaning I remember. Well, you found the third teacher, Death said. You, yourself. Now go, and tell people about it. The Black God talks about Earth and those living on it and inside of it. The White God talks about the sky and those living above our heads. The Black God helps us to be closer to our roots. The White God encourages us to move on. The Black God doesn't let us forget. The White God opens the future. The Black God is inside of you. The White God is around you. The Black God is me. The White God is me. The whole world is rocking, but it's balanced. There's no rest in anything. Rest gets destroyed by time. Rest gets destroyed by the outside world. Rest is unstable. Those who know how to keep balance by being now on the right, now on the left, now above, below, inside, outside, they are able to be above the world. It is they who are capable of being emperors of the black and white gods. Happiness always turns into sorrow. Tears always turn into laughter. Tenderness always gets rough with time. Friendship turns into love. Love turns into habit. Habit into hatred. Hatred into solace. Solace into curiosity. Curiosity into friendship. The black god turns into the white god. 
the white god turns into the black god. When the black god comes to light, he becomes gray like everything else around. When the white god sinks in the darkness, he becomes gray like like everything everything else around. around. When the black god looks looks at the the white white god, God, and and the the white god God looks at the the black black god, everything becomes colorful. When the black god and the white god integrate into a whole, the The self self is revealed. revealed. Consciousness is the white god. The body is the black god. I am the black god and the white god. I'm the one who remembers what has been and thinks about what will be. I am the one who is neither in the past nor in the future. I am now. The whole world is an eternal now. I am the center of this world. I am the center of my reality.